Imagine building a business from the comfort of your own home that generates at least $5,000 or even $10,000 a month in passive income. You don't have to touch any physical products and it doesn't even matter what your skill level is because opening an Etsy print-on-demand store is something anyone can do, which I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step in this video. So first, what is print-on-demand? Print-on-demand is working with a third party like Printify that supplies physical products like mugs, t-shirts, tote bags, where you place your designs on. You don't actually manage any of these physical products yourself. When someone purchases a product from your Etsy store, Printify gets notified, creates the product, and ships it to your customer. So it's completely free for you because these products are only created when customers purchase them and Printify takes a cut of the sale. Etsy is the perfect place to open a print-on-demand store because it's free to set up and you can easily integrate Printify with Etsy. You'll notice that when you type in a specific product that you're thinking of selling, let's say graphic hoodies for example, most of them have very nice but basic text and graphics that are making thousands of sales. This shopper example has made over 26,000 sales selling graphic t-shirts and art prints that are very easy to make right in Printify. Here's another example of a shop that has made over 60,000 sales selling t-shirts with different text and graphics in various colors. Now we'll talk about how to actually make sales once you've published your products later in this video because I've been selling on Etsy for years so I've definitely learned a thing or two. First you'll want to decide what products you want to sell and then get some design inspiration. So go ahead and sign up on Printify for free using the link down below. Go into their catalog and browse through all the products that they offer. Maybe you'll want to sell t-shirts, mugs, socks, whatever you want. Once you've decided, let's get some design inspiration for these products. One of my favorite places to look for inspiration is Pinterest. If you don't have an account, it's completely free to sign up with your email. So think about what products you want to create for your target customer. Maybe you want to create t-shirts for people that love nature. So I've gone ahead and typed in nature graphic tees in the search bar. And this is where you're going to want to scroll through and just get some ideas. Now, the goal here is not to copy, but to get inspiration from the styles that you gravitate towards. For example, I really liked the colors and trees of this t-shirt here, combined with the circular shape and the text of this one. So I came up with my own completely different design, but still inspired by other designs that I saw through my research, and I really liked how this turned out. Once you have your design ideas, you'll need to choose a platform to actually create your graphics. I personally use Kittle because Kittle was specifically made for creating graphics for print-on-demand products. So you're able to download your files at high resolution. Not only are you allowed to use all the elements, graphics, and fonts from Kittle's library, but they have a new AI feature that creates graphics from scratch based on the prompt that you type. I will include Kittle's licensing terms in the description below if you're curious to read through them. I also have full tutorials on how to use Kittle on my channel, but you'll see how intuitive the platform is. You have your artboard, the graphics and elements on the left side, and the settings on the right to customize your design. You can even upload your own graphics if you want to use something different. For this, I'm just creating a black image to place on a white tank top that I will show you later. I also designed this cute graphic that I'm going to place onto a mug. I used the Kittle AI feature, which you can access right here. I selected clip art, and then I went to kawaii style. And then I typed in a panda meditating as my prompt. I ran the prompt a few times and got super cute options to choose from. So I removed the background of this one, added some flowers and stars from Kittle's elements and some text. You can sign up on Kittle for free using the link down below to test out their platform. And we'll talk about subscription options later in this video. So now let's integrate Printify with your Etsy store. To open an Etsy store, you can easily scroll to the bottom and click on sell on Etsy and select get started. Or you can open your shop with 40 free listings. Every listing on Etsy costs you 20 cents, but if you use someone's referral link, you can save money for the first 40 listings that you publish. You can use my referral link down below 
below in the description box, or you can just search 40 free listings on Etsy to use someone else's. To continue to get free listings and save money, share your referral link with other people that want to start a shop. Each time someone uses your referral link, you get another 40 free listings. Then go into Printify at the top here to manage my stores. Click on connect, then connect to Etsy, then Printify will ask you to grant them access to your Etsy store. So click Grant Access. You will then get a success message on Printify telling you it's officially integrated. And that's it. You can now create and publish products on Etsy using Printify. And when someone purchases from your Etsy store, Printify will get notified, they'll create the product and ship it to your customer. So you don't have to do anything except for provide the designs. So go into Printify's catalog. And for this example, I'm going to create a tank top. I noticed that the first one is a bestseller, so I'm just going to select that. Scroll down and click on Start Designing. This is where you can now add in the graphics and text that you've designed in Kittle. So I'm going to drag in that mountain graphic I already designed, and I'm just going to play around with the placement. Let's put it around here, center it, and I see that they have three different colors. I'm just going to keep it to white and preview it. I actually really like how this turned out. I think it's really cute, so I'm just going to save the product. This is where you're now now ready to publish your product. You can start editing your title and description for your listing, which I will go over in a little bit, but I want to draw your attention to the pricing. So Printify is just going to put in a default price for you. What I would recommend is not just using the default price, but go on to Etsy and look at similar products to the one you're creating and see on average how much people are charging. For graphic tank tops, I'm seeing that it's between maybe 20 to $40 even. So I would probably change these to maybe 25 to $30. And I'm probably going to select all because I want all sizes. Now you can save as a draft or publish to your store. It's just that easy. So let's say you want to add pattern designs to your products. You can also do that. So for example, if I want to sell socks, I'm going to click on the best seller right here just for this example. And I put together this cute graphic in Kittle. Just make sure you remove the background. You just do that over here. The default is going to be a white. So just make sure you go to remove background and you can download the PNG file just up here. So I've dragged in my lemon graphic into Printify and I'm just going to make it smaller and bring it down over here. I'm going to go to create pattern, which now it creates a pattern on the sock and I'm going to go to brick horizontal. Then on these three dots, I'm just going to apply to all areas. Last touch, I'm going to change the background color to a light blue and let's preview it, which I personally think looks really cute. So that's how you can create patterns on any of the products that you want to create. And this is the mug that I created from the AI image that I generated from Kittle. So I just wanted to show you how the product turned out. So let's talk about how to make daily sales in your new Etsy print on demand business. Here are my top tips. First of all, Etsy is a competitive marketplace. So for you to stand out, try sticking to a specific niche and getting really good at it. This does not mean selling only one type of product. This means that you are targeting a specific customer and sticking to a certain style and aesthetic. So for example, if you're in the nature niche, maybe you're offering clothing with nature graphics and text, but you're also offering bottles and tumblers because nature people like to hike. Next, Etsy is a numbers game. So the more products you publish, the better chances you have of getting traffic and making sales. So don't just publish one or two products and wait for the sales to come in. You need to grow your shop with multiple listings in order to compete with the big shops out there. Before you publish, your product from Printify, you'll notice that it gives you a default title and description. Do not just leave these as is. You'll need to change your title to include relevant keywords that will help you rank in Etsy search. On top of that, you'll want to change the description to include some keywords, but also include all of the features that are important to note about your product. I have a whole video about keywords and another video on how to write the perfect description. I will leave the playlist down below for you. But great places to get relevant keywords are research tools like Marmalade and Sales Samurai. That's what I personally use. And you can also take a look at your competitors to see what keywords they're using in their title and how they're writing out their description. Now you'll notice that high quality listings on Etsy have multiple images. That's because they have different mockups to showcase what their product looks like. So here's my advice, add more mockups on top of what Printify is offering you. There are many places to get mockups, but if you're already using Kittle, they have a built-in mockup library already 
already. So for example, if I want more t-shirt mock-ups for this design, I'm gonna go to a mock-up over here. I'm gonna go to t-shirts and I'm going to select one that looks like the t-shirt that I'm offering from Printify. So this one looks really good. I'll change the color to a white and this is where I can just adjust where it needs to be and I can download the mock-up. So you'll notice that as you're looking for design inspiration on Pinterest, many of the pins direct you to Etsy shops. This is because Pinterest is probably the best tool to use to market your Etsy products. So my advice is promote all of your products on Pinterest. I have a whole video on how to use Pinterest for Etsy. I will link that down below, but basically you wanna make sure that your image is a two to three ratio. So I created this right in Kittle. I just brought in the image from Printify. I zoomed in and this is the image I'm going to promote on Pinterest that will lead back to my Etsy shop. Remember, just like any other business, this is going to take hard work, time and effort if you really want to see results, but it's worth it. Don't forget to sign up for Kittle and Printify for free using the links down below to start designing and publishing your print on demand products. When you're ready to download your Kittle designs in high resolution and access the Kittle AI feature, you can take a look at their subscription options to see what works best for you. I personally feel that the pro account is more than enough for you to create all your print on demand designs. Let me know down below if you would like a detailed tutorial on design and publishing my own product to my Etsy store, I'm happy to share my full process. Give this video a like if it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.